You're listening to the world of business and taxes with Mike Lodge, keeping you informed. So let's get started. And welcome to another podcast of the world of business and taxes, otherwise known as the WBT. Have you ever had one of those days where you were trying to accomplish so many different things, but one thing came up and could not get all the other tasks done? I had that serious situation today where we have we have just moved into these new offices and we're trying to get our internet and our intranet and our uh, server and everything else to work so what 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 did happen to me today which was so frustrating because you wanted to get so much done but you got hit with a server that is dying and sounds like a manufacturing plant when you turn it on an internet system that went up and down all day long because we found out that our that our um, router, internet router and wireless router was about ready to die. And plus I had to meet with people who are being audited that I need to represent them on, represent the audits on uh, within 30 days. I need to respond within 30 days. So I was going through through, uh, documents and receipts and bank statements and et cetera, et cetera. But yet I knew in the back of my mind I had to get back to my other problems because it's vital to have a functioning office in order to support your clients. But it was one of those frustrating days. And then I remembered of the trip I just took. I had just gotten back on Sunday afternoon as I was coming down from San Francisco down the 101 and looking out over the ocean and looking out how beautiful the coastline of Southern California really is. And it's that moment of thought throughout all the chaos of of today and how much I enjoyed that road trip by myself as the radio was blasting in the car that I found out, you know what, I need to do more of that. I need these more mini vacations Because every time I walk into the office, there are people who need to see me. There are telephone calls that need to be answered. There's telephone systems that are not working. We're just going through this whole new system of implementing voice over IP. And for years I said I wasn't going to do it. But then when I did the cost analysis, I saw, you know what, I'm so stupid for not doing it because I can save a lot more money. I mean, literally, I went from $500 a month in phone bills down to $45. Now, to me, that is an amazing savings, and I wish I would have done it a long time ago. But let's get back to the 101. There was one thing that I also was amused about is that In Pismo Beach, I stopped to get gasoline, and I stopped also to get something to eat. I've stopped there twice now. Three weeks ago, I stopped in there, and there was this little old man sitting there by himself. He knew all the waiters and waitresses, and he knew them by heart, and they all came in and gave him a hug when he came in. So yesterday when I came in, that same old man was sitting in the same spot that I'd seen him at three weeks ago. And I was listening in on the conversation between him and the waitresses and he pulled out a picture of his wife and they had been married 54 years. Lost his wife. But still he kept up the tradition of coming to the same restaurant, sitting in the same spot Everybody knew who his wife was. And it's those kind of memories that you that you think about during the course of a busy, hard, boisterous day when you're trying to get things done and you remember back on to this little old man who sat there, who was missing his wife after 54 years of marriage. Sitting in the same spot, eating the same dinner. 
amazing life, isn't it? How we can come down the 101 on on the California west side and look at the beautiful ocean and look at the beautiful people and listen to the wonderful stories and understand that when we get into our work and when we have rambunctious days, we can accomplish anything from a single soft memory of a good time. Remember that when you're going through tough times, I have a friend at the moment who's going through a very tough time. On Monday, he will pr- he will go into federal prison. And I want him to remember that he made a mistake. But in that mistake, he also made some wonderful things happen for people in his lifetime. He can make it through anything. Just remember back on the times where he touched somebody's heart. Or when somebody touched his heart. Remember those good times. Don't focus on the tough times that are coming. Focus on what you can do after the time that you have served. Know that you took on the responsibility and you achieved it and you got it done. Don't worry about what other people think about you. Don't worry about what people are, what you think people are talking about. Don't worry about the mistakes that you have made because those are over. Now you think about what you can do. Find that one spot in your mind where you remember the time where you came down the 101 and saw the beautiful ocean and experienced the beauty of this world. You might be going through bankruptcy. You might be going through a tough times. You might be going through a divorce. You might be going through whatever that problem may be. You can make it through it. No matter what, you can make it through it. Because you know what is now the difference between right and wrong and doing good and bad and evil You know what you need to do in the next step of your life. You know what you need to do to get out of that bankruptcy. You just need to do it. And move forward. Life is tough sometimes. But also life is full of blessings. Remember the blessings that you have had. And keep moving forward. So as that little old man sits there Sunday after Sunday remembering that one special moment he had with his wife can make years disappear and love remain strong. And you have to have faith within yourself that no matter what happens you can make it through anything. I kind of digress from the from the uh the problems at work, huh? That's kind of strange, but it happens. So I look at I look at the problems that I had today at work and trying to keep things together and keep them working. It's not that big a deal, is it? As long as you get them done. And as long as you move forward and you anticipate the next day and look forward for the next day to to happen. Life is an abundance of surprises every single day. It's an abundance of past memories that are happy ones, good ones, learning ones. Life is an abundance of tomorrows that we can do 
better than we did today. So, yeah, so I got the internet working finally at 8.30 p.m. tonight. I was able to get all of the computers working finally on one single system. Saturday they're going to come in and put in a brand new server so that we can be up and running and have our full capacity of data at our fingertips. So things were accomplished. And tomorrow's another day. This is Mike Lodge. This is brought to you by Lodge and Company, a business and tax advisory firm. Check us out on the web at www.lodge-co.com. Find out what we can do for you. If you're a startup, if you're a small business, we can help you through the process. If you want to listen to all of my podcasts uh, that I do, you can go to www.wbtpod.com. That's WPD. I mean, W... Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really bad at this, okay? I am probably the worst podcaster ever. But it's www.wbt, World of Business and Taxes, www.wbtpod.com. And all of my podcasts are there from... I don't know. There's a lot of them. There's over 155, I think, now, podcasts that are there for you to listen to. From starting businesses, on how to read financial statements, on tax issues, it's all there. So go and listen to them if you want to. We also have a, 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 a WBT magazine that we do on Flipboard. And we try to update on new articles on starting businesses, on how to, how to be an entrepreneur, on taxation, on, on various issues. I never try to put politics in them because I just want to talk about pure business things or have you think about and learn about pure business because politics are crazy at the moment so so that's it for today that's our my podcast you can also listen to me on iHeartRadio and on iTunes I'm, I'm there also and on a whole bunch more of distributions of podcasts that are out there but listen to me on, on iHeartRadio I'm there and uh, we're growing our audience there So I'll talk with you soon. Remember, you can do anything. This is Mike Lodge. Thank you for listening. Join us again tomorrow. Stay informed with the world of business and taxes with Mike Lodge. Have a great day.